What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be talking about what's on my lanyard for the 2020-2021 duck season. This is uh, my flooded field hunting lanyard. On this I have a landing gear Sweet Talk. I have a landing gear Sassy Susie. I have a Riceland three-quarter bore Spec Call. I have landing gear 6-in-1 Whistle and a Duck Commander Teal Call. I'm going to run through every one of them and kind of explain to you why I use them. Starting out with the Landing Gear Sweet Talk. Uh, this is a really, really, really good close range call. You want to get ducks in close and you want to get quiet with them and things like that. Or it's an old cloudy, no wind day and you just want to really, really, you know, talk to them down low and, you know, as the name calls it, Sweet Talk them. So uh, this is my favorite duck call out there. I'll kind of let you hear how it runs. kind of you know your volume you're gonna get out of is right there and then down low <laughs> then you got your sassy Susie this is a mid-range call as far as the field goes I would say a mid-range call is all you need because it's just wide open over water. Sound's going to echo a lot, so you're really a lot louder than you think you are. So mid-range call is all I think you need for hunting a flooded field. But this thing will get really loud. It will also get really low. Riceland three quarter bore spec call, really easy to break over and blow. It's got super good tone and, and volume and just sounds exactly like a speckle belly. I'm not the best spec caller in the world, but it's easy to drive. I actually had to have uh, sent back in to Bill Daniels to tune it. It was a little hard for me to blow and break over. Uh, so I sent it back to him, he tuned it a little softer for me, and it sounded awesome when I got it back. And then for teal call, the old Duck Commander teal call, like a $20 polycarbonate call, but as far as sounding like a teal goes, you really can't beat it in my opinion. <laughs> then the uh, Landing Gear 6 and one whistle. Just cover up the front holes for Drake Mallard, Pentail, and Teal, and then just leave them uncovered for Widgeon. Anyway, guys, that's what's on my flooded field lanyard. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. It's almost duck season, so y'all stay tuned. God bless y'all.